all the lovely people and welcome to the first video on my channel. My name is Shopdeva. Hi, how are you? And I'm so, so glad that you're here. Now, this is the first introduction that I'm making and it's going to be a little long. So, me, I'm kind of sort of a self-proclaimed makeup artist, M.U.A. And I'm not even mad about it because people genuinely like what I do with my face and I'm so proud and I'm so thankful for this opportunity and for the love that all the people gave me to start my own YouTube channel you know which is based on makeup and lifestyle and everything like that I'm not going to have my channel restricted to only makeup so people who are not interested in just makeup will be able to enjoy it I'll be making traveling vlogs I'll be making uh, a lot of things I don't know what but Philhal ke liye it's just going to be me and me teaching you to how to do makeup. So, so today for my first ever video, I'm just I'm I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this look right here, which is a black smoky eye. And I've given you two lip options. This one is a red one and a nude one. You'll figure it out after you watch the tutorial. And it's like a super easy thing to do. You know, it's a very easy. You want to follow the tutorial, you'll be able to do it just like that. And before we jump into the video, I have something to talk about. It's nothing serious, nothing like that. Just I want to clear some stuff up right now. And that makeup is an art. It's just an it's, a, it's an art. It, exactly, it's an art, and it should not be used as a mask that people use, or it should not be referred to as a mask that people use to hide their insecurities. That's just not fair. It's an art, just how the way we dress up fancy when we want to go or have something somewhere to go. Makeup is just makeup just plays like that. It's just the same thing. And by no means should it become a fancy mask that we girls or everybody who wears makeup uses to hide or something. That's just a very very negative statement and I am against that. I love makeup and I know how to live without it as well. And I am I know I'm beautiful without it and I'm beautiful with it. Let's not level anything right here in this channel. Let's not level it. We all are beautiful in our way. If you love makeup, you are beautiful. If you don't, you are beautiful. And the thought that makeup is used because people are insecure about themselves, girl, that needs to go. I am against that. That is not the case. It's just a fancy way. It's just an art. Not everybody is good at it. But me, I don't think I'm good at it or not. But I will help you all to achieve what you want to do with your face. Because if I can do it, I am not a professional. You can relate to me. I'll make mistakes. I'll break things. That's me. I'm not professional. I'm not perfect. And that is why I'm just like you. I'm just as normal as you. And yeah that uh, if I can do it you can do it as well and I'll make sure that I'll I put up efforts to make you if you want to do it if you want to beat your face how to do it because I'm learning myself and I'm a learner and if I learn if one person can help you help you to get to somewhere it's a learner him or herself that's that's what I feel that's what because you can relate to me you can feel what I'm feeling can feel what you're feeling and yeah so that was a long run but I had to clear some misconceptions so I did and now let's get right into the so this is my bare skin and my skin right now is not doing very well because I just finished my exams and exam days means stress and stress is not good for your skin plus this winter Winter is also a good for your skin and especially my skin. So I have zits like here and there but it's okay. We're gonna ignore that or we're gonna cover that. And I've already moisturized my skin. I applied moisturizer and some essential oils. I'm not gonna show you what moisturizer or essential oil I use right now because that is going to be a separate video. My skincare video. So... <coughs> Let's just begin. What I use is the Blue Heaven Primer. It's called the Perfect Makeup Base Primer and it's really good. It's not gonna break your bank, it's not gonna break my bank. It's really affordable and it's really good. It does its job beautifully and we use primers because it minimizes the pores that we have here or anywhere where it's like it, it shows that you're like big 
horse or something so it just made my sisters so I'll, I just take like a little bit of it on my fingers just like that and I just apply it where I get like where I have like a little bit of pore I like to actually apply it everywhere Well, it's done and now I'm going to use a liquid highlighter or a strobing cream and this one is my Maybelline and so I, I won't say like I love it but it's okay strobe creams are like really hell expensive so so it's affordable and, so, and it does its job it adds a light kind of luminosity to your skin it's good if you're getting ready for a really good or a really fancy occasion it's brutally interrupted by my father so using a stroke cream really makes your skin look really natural and healthy and it gives a really naturally healthy glow and everything to your skin so i always like to use a little bit of stroke cream before I use my foundation and I don't know if you can say it but it does its job it's not very extreme or something but it does its job so now I always like to do my eyes first so we'll just begin with our eyes and turn it I mean you guys know from the introduction that we're gonna do a black smoky eye so you always want to do a smoky eye before you do your face that's a must so do that so let's do that let's begin with eye makeup and let's zoom you people in now we'll begin with the eye makeup so before I apply any eyeshadow or anything I always like to conceal my eyes I use this concealer this concealer is very famous it's by Maybelline the Fit Me one I'm just going to apply the concealer on my lids just like that it's really important because if you want to make your eyeshadow last longer you have to conceal your eyes so I'm just going to apply this right on my lids and I'm just going to buff it out with my beauty blender Now with the concealer, you have to set it with any compact or any setting powder, whatever you want to use. I'm just going to use this Maybelline Dream Setting one. I finish it. <laughs> kind of. I really like this powder and it's like two shades. Lighter than my skin tone, so it really does a job of lightening and brightening. So I'm just going to apply the powder with my beauty sponge. Just like that, just set it up. Otherwise, your eyeshadows are gonna get like it's gonna get sticky with the concealer. So you have to set it with loose powder. It's, it's a must if you want your eyeshadows to last really, really long. Now we're gonna begin with the eyeshadow work. The palette that I'm going to use is this Wet and Wild Rose in the Air one, just for the transition. Just for the transition stuff I'm going to use because you need to have a transition going on in your eyes. You don't want it to be like black, like all black. You don't want your eyes to look like that. So you have to build in a transition shade. I'm just going to take two brushes and I'm going to pick up a kind of a like a nice orangish tint this one which says transition right here this shade right here i'm just gonna take it and have a really nice smoky black smoky eye is to apply a kajal that smudges or blends really well now i have the like my iconic right here but i won't use it for this tutorial because this little guy doesn't smudge 
and it's always gonna give you that streaky kind of line that you don't want you want a really blown out look and so I'm just going to use this Himalaya Kajal it smudges and it's really, it's, it's really good for your eyes as well I learned through some Facebook post I don't know what but I'm just going to use this Kajal today and the and this is the hack if you want a really perfect smoky eye and people always ask me this question what do you use you don't just use a black eyeshadow you have to apply kajal as your base and this is this is the one that is that's gonna make your black smoky eye a really classic a really glam one so let's begin by applying the kajal doesn't have to be perfect it can be because just the way it is or I'll, I'm more messy because it's just gonna, get, just gonna get blended so I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm gonna blend it so one thing that you need to keep in mind you cannot bl like blend it above this above your crease it has to be inside your crease or I don't know I don't know the word it just has to be right under your crease it cannot be up to there because that is gonna make your eye look that the black is the transition also and also the lid color that we don't want we already have a transition shade right here so make sure you blend it right below your crease and that is the crease you're done with the kajal you just need to take a uh, black eyeshadow and coat your brush with it and on the one I did was just take and use it on the lid don't hit your crease otherwise the transition shade is going to eliminate so just do it like that and what I did after that was I just took whatever is left in the brush and I just smoked off the lower lash line I put the entire look together and now we're gonna move on to face and foundation I'm gonna come back to the eyes after I'm done with the foundation and my entire face and my entire base and that's what I did I forgot that I kept the video going on in time lapse and okay whatever you get the idea what I did the kajal the Aisha just pack it on don't you know, eliminate your crease and just apply it. the rest, whatever is left in your brush, just apply it in the lower lash line and put it all together. That's it. The foundation that I'm going to use is the Milani uh, Conceal Plus Perfect Two in One Foundation Plus Concealer. And my shade is 00 Natural, Light, Light Natural. I don't think that's my shade. See, this is, you need to know this about me, okay? I am bad. In matching my foundation I I don't know I think I'm I have pink undertones I don't know because if I use a yellow undertone foundation it's it, it looks really odd but if I use a pink undertone foundation it looks flawless on me but I don't know I just tend to buy foundation that are like 500 shades lighter than my skin tone I don't know there's a thing about blue tone people you don't have like a lot of uh, options when it comes to foundation so I think Zozo Light Natural is not my shade but I'm gonna make it my shade by mixing something dark and uh, that's it that's what you needed to know about it but if I you know if I use the zero one thing it's gonna be darker so it's better to use foundation that is lighter than darker because then you cannot do anything if it's dark but if it's light you can mix up stuff just the way I'm gonna do today and make it work so let's just begin what I'm gonna do is take the foundation back of my hand not much not much I like to use a lot of foundation that's just not me I'm just going to take my finger first by the way I just do this with my finger people do it with a beauty blender but I don't I'm just gonna take this 
eye dots on my face just like that and I'm just zooming on it to cover the under eyes I want to use concealer as well but you know foundation doesn't hurt because I could not sleep because I had exams as I told and now I have bags under my eyes so yeah when you're doing your foundation because you want both of them to match right <laughs> you don't want to have one color on your face and another color on your neck you don't want that so even if i'm wearing a turtleneck i always do whatever is visible and now the tip that you need to know when you do your foundation you need to dab on it and spread it evenly you don't do this oh my god that's when that's what makes your zits prominent you do not do this you dab it in your skin like that you cannot do this thing you cannot glide it on you need to dab it so i'm just going to time lapse it and meet you when i'll do my concealer What I did to make my foundation match my skin tone is because that was too light. So what I did is I just took this sample that Smashbox sent me. It's their um, um, that stick foundation, foundation plus contour. That's one. And I just took a little bit, not like a little bit, and just dipped it all over my face. Just like this. And not in the under eyes because I love a bright under eye so wherever i felt like it's too light for my skin i just applied it there and i'm just going to blend it in right now and i love a bronzy look so i don't mind if my face looks a little more tan than usual i'm fine with that so now i'm going to move on with my concealer and I'm going to use the same concealer that I used to conceal my eyelids. And about this concealer, the, the shade range is not okay. Like, it doesn't have, like, super light shades that I love. It has yellow undertone. And I love the Maybelline Age Rewind one. But this one has amazing quality. Everything is fine. But the shade range, it's... It's really good for Indian like brown skin tones, but I am not brown according to Indian skin tones, so it's it's not up to the mark for me. But the quality is great, and the Age Van one has amazing shades too. And I had the Age Van one, but I finished it and I have to order it again. So I'm just going to conceal. And about concealing, you just apply. That's my dog barking by the way like overexcited always so I'm just going to create triangles here and drag it there to clean the smoky eye thing because I want a sharp outer, outer edge look here same thing here and I always blend the, con the under eye concealer later because I want great coverage here so I always do that. So if you leave your concealer to you know adjust your skin and soak in that your skin soak the concealer, then it gives like better coverage. And wherever the beauty <laughs> girl still conceal in your cupid's bow. That's that's just to brighten up the center of my face actually. And the thing that I do is always is I always cut the, you know, the jaw, not the jawline. I will like to do is, I always like to sculpt the cheeks like that, even before I apply any bronzer or any contour. It just makes a really big difference. Like my face is already very chiseled, but that just works even better. Just do that 
and I'm just going to blend it all in or glide it all in blend dab it same thing the concealer is all blended and the face is looking really snatched and really brighten up and conceal one thing that I'm going to show before moving to setting the face if anybody out there wants to know how to contour like contour if you don't do it on a daily basis or you don't you just do it when you have a fancy occasion to go and you want your cheeks like snatch like that so I'm just going to show how I contour my face so I'm going to take the same product that I used to warm up my entire face I'm just going to take it in a little brush like that and I'm just going to, I don't have a mirror, what the hell, sorry, I'm just going to take the brush and the product and just where you want your color to be, um, just like that, and I love a good nose contour, I mean, when I learn how to contour the nose, it changed my life. I felt like that. I felt so happy that some I don't know who but someone did and like somebody did it. Somebody introduced me to nose contours on YouTube and I don't know who and my life changed and now I'm just going to drag whatever is left on my forehead to make it appear really small. I'm going to take a little bit more product and I'm going to chisel out my jawline. that I use, you don't have to do that, you can use just one powder, one compact and call it a day by me. Okay, I'm extra, that's what I am. So now, the palette that I'm going to use, by Vanu Y is beautiful, it, it has like one ooh, bronzer and one um, banana powder and it sadly broke. And so taking the banana shade, I'm just going to set my entire face just like that. for my entire face and that one was just for my under eyes you can do that if you like a super duper pants my entire face is probably one of my favorite things to do i'm just going to take the same bronzer that that's broken and stuff <laughs> and i'm just going to cover my cheekbones once again with this what you do is while you bronze you need to drag the remaining portion here you cannot just end it right here you have to like sort of connect the two otherwise it looks like you have chisel cheeks here and it's like all the <laughs> all the fat or everything on your cheeks it has come down to here which is not a good look so you're just going to then this way and add For my favorite step of my routine, the blush. I'm going to use the sugar blush. I don't know the shade. I'm going to mention it in the description box down below. And I go ham with blush. I love blush. So I'm just going to smile a little bit. Just like this. And apply it to my temples. look and now I think we can go back to the eyes so I'm just going to use the same 
thing, same kajal that I used earlier because it can get, it can be smudged and blended really properly. I'm just gonna use it like this in both my eyes. My kajal is done. I'm just going to also use kajal for my upper lash line and after it's done I'll just smoke my lower lash line a little bit more to get a really groovy and nice impact I love my lower lash line to be like really really smoky and everything so now that oh I have to <coughs> the eyes are done I'm also going to not it's not done actually I know it's not going to show up but I still like to draw a liner after I'm done with the eyeshadow and kajal work I don't know I think I think it helps a little bit I mean you can hardly see it but I just like to draw it and I hate liners by the way if you want to know something that I hate and make a broken with a liner I don't know why but sometimes you know, I'm just going to comb my lashes with some mascara and I'm going to use a pair of falsies after that if you want you can if you want to skip this step you can so I'll just apply mascara Almost done here. I'm just going to rinse off, not rinse off, blend out the bake. No, the most favorite part ever. But I cannot find them. Oh, I did. I did find them. It's done. Let's move to white ultimate favorite part it is highlighter I love highlighter I adore highlighter I can buy 300 highlighters and not even be guilty or ashamed I'm going to use a Wet n Wild one again I have 3 highlighters but I'll you know tease them up in some other video so Highlighter, you need to see where the highlight hits. You can see my light is sitting right here, so I'm just going to put the highlighter right here to my temples. Ooh, groovy! Just like that. Same, same thing with the other cheek. Light sitting here. Same. Up to my temples. the nose make it look like snatched nose you need to put highlighter right on the bridge right there and just on the tip so it gives like a nice cutie tip now for the forehead just everywhere kind of sort of chin Cupid's bow and taking a smaller brush highlight in a corner just like that done with the highlight I'm just going to blend my face a little bit more and 
see if I need something or need to blend out something after. And now I don't think I have to add or blend anything else. And I'm just going to begin with my brows and the brows. It's just. Hmm. I'll just show you what I do with my brows. That's it. That's it. That is what I do with my brows. Nothing else. That's just it. That's how I do it. And after that, I just highlight my brow bone with the highlighter that I cannot find, but I did. Just like that, yes. Just like that. Cute. And I'm finally done. I'm just gonna spread myself, spit myself, or change myself. It's a Max, Max Fix, Fix Plus. This one right here, and just here is almost done. So for the lips, I'm going to give y'all two lip options: one a nude. A classic black smoky eye and a nude looks perfect if you ask me. It's just perfect. So if you want, you can use a nude lip, or I'm going to give you a classic red lip. Smoky eye, black smoky eye, and a classic MAC red lip. It's like perfect. Per per perfect. The red one is MAC Dance With Me, and this one is Lacmin's Liquid Lipstick in the shade. Um, I don't know what the shade name is. Oh my god. Ooh, what is the shade name? What is the shade name? Mild Mauve. So, I'm going to apply my lashes after I'm done with my lips, I guess, or before. And I'll just be back with either the lip or the lashes. Wait and see. So, here I am back with the lashes. And the first lip option there is the nude one. If you want to recreate this look with the new one, nude one, go ahead. You look fantastic. I personally love this look with the black smoky and the nude lip. The lashes are from Amazon. The lash glue is also from Amazon. I told you I don't want to break anybody's banks by using Huda Beauty lashes or MAC lashes or anything. I will someday. Not now. Not my thing. Filhal. I might do it when I start earning but not now I just have some few uh, high-end lipsticks and stuff and that's it I know how to make drugstore things work I know how to make if you have just like limited things I know how to make those work and that's just it so this is the final look with lip option this is the look with the red lips and i love it i i want this look with a lot of lip shades with pinks purples and maroons i love it do try this please and if you do try it, tag me on my instagram at shop the name of the channel and the name of my face wear this look with a lot of indian outfits as well let me tell you i've worn this look with saris lehengas and silver kameez everything and today i'm just wearing my black turtleneck and a olive green shirt olive green my favorite olive green my favorite colors with purple and white and a lot of so that's just my dog so if you do learn this from me and it's really easy let me tell you i've just learned the hacks myself i love a smoky eye look so much and when i could make my own hacks and stuff to achieve this look it just made me feel so proud and so flattering and so cool and so beautiful i just love this look if you try it you can try it in every occasion that you want you can try it in birthdays and parties and everything so if you try this look please 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 do let me know and let me know if you like this video 
and don't forget to like this video like thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications that way you know whenever I come online and post and if you decide to recreate this look ever please 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 tag me on my Instagram and you might also like to follow me there because I'm planning to create some content of that too so my Instagram is at shop I link it link everything down below and I love you guys. Bye. We'll see you in my next video.